Hi, it's my time to shine. I'm going to do a general read for all signs for this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday into Monday. This is going to be for every sign that's relevant. It may resonate for some. It may not resonate for none. This will be my last reading that I'm doing. Being as though that I got to get ready for the blue moon. We don't get the moons, but once every like 14 years. So a lot of people is excited. And I got, I kind of got a little bit too many readings lined up already for the blue moon and it's kind of like going to be difficult for me so i'm going to see how many readings that i'm have requests by thursday so far i got 35 i'm charging 80 dollars a read but some of the reads going to be a little higher because of some certain situations people asked me they wanted me to dig deep into so i'm going to be busy so i need to clear all my energy i need to stop doing readings completely so i can energize myself because these readings got to be done and they want them done on halloween so that's like gonna be a lot going on and i know i have a doctor appointment the day before so i'm gonna hurry up and get in the house because literally i want to be three days before halloween three days after with nobody energy too much around me but mine so i'm gonna just do what i gotta do come in clear my energy take all my clothes off wash them and just move forward at the other present time i'm going to just be um solitude for a little while i just need time to think about my goals my opportunities my responsibilities where i want to be um am i trying to uh, move i'm trying to get surgery i'm trying to do like a lot of things at one time but i know with the divine i could get everything done at a reasonable time and get it done accordingly because i want to get a surgery but i don't want to have to be stuck as well as i can't move if i need to move so i need to make sure that i'm gonna have help or figure out how my life is going to go so i can start moving forward because i gotta figure out things because time is moving fast and i'm not being stuck somewhere for another five or four or even three years that's just not what i need to do i need to be um progressing and move up and up and up so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna do all how i'm gonna do everything because i want like a better summer than what i had this summer i had my summer was okay because i never was around but like i want my summer to like get better every year that go by so i gotta figure out like where i'm trying to be for our states um period and like what i want to do far as everything because i did my realtor and everything here but you could always go somewhere else you just gotta take different tests and i don't care about none of that because my brain is intact like it's just bottom line i just want to make sure that next time i move is no moving I, that's it i'm done and that's what i gotta focus on on the other flip note um if you want to book uh blue moon reading you can reach me at rcv real estate broker at gmail.com you can send me an email you can send your phone number in a link we could talk about it because i'm not going to book through just an email i need to talk to you verbally because i don't want nobody to book something and um cancel because that's messing up situation so i gotta really be verbally talk to you you gotta put a 20 dollar deposit down it's non-refundable and i can move forward um my email was kind of compromised or whatever instagram or something was almost compromised but somebody told me once you be getting like a lot of views a lot of likes and stuff on youtube instagram and stuff like that you got a lot of people mess with your stuff but far is somebody literally because i i had another email somebody literally tried to put my phone number in or something something so they could change my passcode that didn't come from like a, a regular person like a regular like whatever they say that mess with your accounts nine eight nine oh four in the morning so i'm not really worrying about that because that's set and at the end of the day the divine's gonna watch me and and guide me over me because messing with my email it could mess with other things but the thing people don't understand is i got three different emails so like if you mess with one email like i got too many emails going on all my emails is active so like you might have messed me up a little bit but like it have been okay because i would have been recovered i keep everything how i need to have it just in case somebody try to do something so with that being said i just reverse the negative energy that's why i got this candle back to you whatever your situation is whatever hate whatever madness whatever you got going on you gotta look within yourself you put that with yourself and talk about it to somebody you, you that mad or whatever kid situation uh you probably can't call me whoever it may be probably can't email me or whatever but make your way you know what i mean do what you gotta do we could talk about it but other than that don't mess with my emails because you messing with my livelihood that's like crazy my emails is really what's going on in my life i don't make emails up and they just my emails so like that was kind of petty whoever did that but here or there i'm about to do a basic read and um
I'm thinking about do I have any other any other news? I did say that I'm not doing no um no more readings, and I'm already not doing personal. This is just a exception because it was going on for Halloween. That's the only reason I'm doing this, but I'm not doing any personal readings. It's a 2021. And then from there, I'll see what I'm doing because I got to figure some other things out. Uh, things is going coming along with my trauma center. Some things is a little hot for a minute because I had to get myself together. But um, I did find a building and um, I'm in a process of uh, basically tying up loose ends with the building. And then from there, I got to move forward. So. Um, I got a couple of people that sent me messages and said congratulations. I don't say congratulations to I'm cutting that ribbon, but thank you anyway. In the meantime, um, back to the reading. I'm doing a basic reading. It's for all signs. Um, period. It's going to be for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is time-based. And I hope everybody have a great weekend. I'm meditating. Probably catch up on just a couple of little old readings. But anything for December and January and February is going to be due do and done after the blue moon phase after i clear chakras and pray and my wishes and talk to the divine and that'll be that because i gotta get surgery again on my teeth so i'm not gonna be able to do too much tuesday so i'll be well by you know that time so in the meantime oh another thing i'm changing my phone number and i'm getting a new phone my old phone i said that three times and i didn't i just got a dummy google number i'm about to change my number in a little bit and i'm also about to get another phone and i'm about to separate everything because some people just don't need my number no more and then i'm going to just have another number for people to call me because this i need to have a business phone and i gotta figure it all out because it's clashing and it's doing too much my phone never stopped so it's kind of irritating like literally so anyway universe spirit guide please give me the wisdom to read these readings accurately officially and you i trust amen my cards is already pre-shuffled this is going to be a past present and future for all signs friday saturday and sunday could even go until monday it could have passed already it may come it could be three months could be six months as i tell people sometimes these readings don't come for two to three months sometimes these readings it already passed so you got to take what resonate everything is for entertainment purposes only yes i must say it no matter what and i've been doing readings since 12 so like this is not new for me and i've been doing spells and all other types of spiritual healings that just was always me I always played with like weird stuff i always used to do weird stuff i always used to see do spells really work and all types of stuff so this is nothing new for me it's new for you too it's not new for me universe spirit guy holy angels please tell all signs what they need to know for 2020 too many cards but what do all signs need to know okay as they always coming out damn they filled the whole thing up this time that's weak the first card is the tower. In your past, you was dealing with something that was built on a faulty foundation that came tumbling down. It could have been a business relationship, a friendship, a relationship. But as you see the tower, like the twin towers, everything came tumbling down. Something was built that wasn't real. You also had the ten of pentacles. You had the family life. You had everything. This is the um, Capricorn Taurus um, Virgo energy. You have the moon. You coming up out of something being hidden in the past. You also have the seven of wands. You coming up out of taking up for yourself or coming at people. Maybe you starting to care, not don't care what nobody say about you. With me, I don't even care about hate. I don't even have time to even worry about somebody hating me. I got my own life going on. This was three cards. Mm, but this sat on top of this. You also got the page of swords. This indicates trouble with police. This is a quick thinker. This is also somebody that is looking on your social media, stalk, stalking, spying, looking at you. Got a fake page, whatever's going on. This is clarity and truth of the matter. You're going to find out who's doing this in the long run. You got the chariot. You moving fast in some type of situation. You moving real fast like you out. And except on the three of wands this is something where you're thinking about what's your next move and i can resonate with this you want to make something to grow you want to build something you're just trying to make something grow in your future and you moving fast towards it and you know this is my energy and you could also be dealing with the aries as well you also have for your um future you have the five of coins basically you leaving somebody out in the cold in the future or somebody leaving you out in the cold 
Um, this could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but you just walking away because of a situation. You see the lady in the head and the man is in the back. Maybe you just got tired or something, whatever the case may be. You also got the Page of Cups. This is a slippery fish. This is Pisces energy. Um, somebody want to offer you some, um, it's a couple of like bullshit. It's not a slippery. You see the water behind them. They like, they float. They up and down. They happy one. They sad the other. They don't know what they want in life. You also got the Ace of Cups. This is from the universe. He giving you a cup of abundance, a cup of love. This is something that you ask for. This is something that you wish for you also got the four of pentacles you could be dealing with a capricorn taurus virgo you could be keeping your money to yourself you could be keeping something close to your heart i could resonate in both areas with this i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to clarify this um page of swords who's looking who's looking at you who's watching universe spirit guides only angels please clarify the page of swords too many cards please clarify the page of swords yeah, somebody want to offer you some type of cup of emotion. This is some cup of opportunity. This is kind of a good card, but this also is a card. It's somebody that you got to be weary about. This Glenn Fellow, you should look at with suspicious. So this could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio that may be watching your page. Universe, Spirit, God, or it could be any sign. Please clarify the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Too many cards. Oh, well... You got the Six of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Maybe you're trying to balance out the situation um, and you ain't able to balance it out, which is a good card. Or you is balancing to the best of your knowledge. Clarify with the Nine of Cups. Motions all over the place about the situation, maybe. You got the... Um, well, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. The Five of Swords, some type of jealousy perhaps could be around you. Huh? That's nothing new. You also got the Eight of Cups. You moving forward. You're not looking back in the situation. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You also got um, some confusion or coming up out of some few confusion with the Eight of Cups. There's a lot of choices. You don't know which one to take right now. And you also got the Sun. You go straight to the Sun to happiest. This is Leo energy or this could be any sign. But after you did and dealt with what you did, dealt with, you just move straight up to happiness like you don't got time for none of that i'm going to go ahead and i'm gonna clarify this five of pentacles that somebody left somebody out on the cold and all these cards came out and i give it how it is this could be a celebration or a third party situations why you left somebody in the cold you got the king of pentacles reverse you could be dealing with a Taurus. Maybe you left a Taurus out. You got the hangman. You stuck in the suspended state because that's where you want to be. You coming out of having a lot of stuff on your shoulder with the Ten of Wands. You got the Queen of Wands, whereas though you're not trying to make something happen, you in this type of energy, you could be dealing with an Aries. You also got the Page of Pentacles. Somebody maybe want to offer you something, but it's nothing but a page. It's nothing serious with the Eight of Wands. Something coming to you, text, email, letters, phone call. Somebody coming to your house about the situation. I'm going. You also have the world but i'm not really sure how this came up this could also mean you're not trying to close out a cycle when somebody get in touch with you that's what i see i'm going to clarify this page of cups universe spirit guy holy angel please clarify this page of cups why is this page of cups here You got the two of pentacles coming up out of, of a juggling situation or a balancing situation. You coming up out of having stress for a situation. You coming up out of having everything in your hands. Somebody coming to you nasty, cutting through some bullshit. Could be a Gemini and some type of legal situation could be up in the air. That's what I'm seeing. I'm going to clarify this justice card. Universe, spirit guy, holy angel, please clarify the justice. You got the Ace of Pentacles reverse with the Page of Wands not making something happen. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get an angel guy and see what the universe got to say. Because there's like some things going on. And you could be dealing with an Aries. Thought that car flipped. But it didn't. Universe, Spirit Guy, Holy Angels. It says, simplify your life and the answer you seek will appear. So, this is what I'm saying. I'm going to leave the reading like that. I'm not making it too long because I really don't feel like making it real, real long. But it says simplify your life. And basically, is what I'm saying is just to move forward in a situation. That's what it's saying. I'm going to see about the one word oracles. And I'm going to see miracle, as I say, could be my daughter coming up out of stress. Somebody don't like rejection coming up out of confusion and come up out of gossip now. Like you fully is like leveling up, like you holding something close to your heart, but that sometimes you got to keep your business to yourself. So with everything, I hope everybody have a great weekend. I hope this resonate with somebody. Peace, light and blessings to all.